guys, this is Late Night. We hope you're all doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping agreed yesterday to reestablish military communications. It's what Biden is calling the greatest U.S.-China collaboration since rush hour. <laughs> Needed that one to go well tonight, because he's on the show. The White House said yesterday that President Biden will sign the continuing resolution to keep the government funded through January 19th. So now we can finally put this all behind us and also in front of us. <laughs> After he challenged a witness testifying before a Senate committee yesterday to a physical fight, Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen told Fox News he was representing, quote, Oklahoma values. Though, based on his behavior, I have to assume Oklahoma values is a dollar store outside of Tulsa. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of fights at Oklahoma Values. <laughs> After he challenged the president of the Teamsters Union to a fight, Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen discussed his combat strategy with reporters yesterday and said, quote, in a fight, I'm going to bite. I'll do anything. I'm not above it, and I don't care where I bite, by the way. <laughs> so you're definitely threatening to bite his penis. <laughs> Even Jeffrey Dahmer is like, this guy is unwell. Embattled New York Congressman George Santos announced today that he will not seek re-election. However, he asked voters to consider casting their ballot in the next election for Georgina Diablos. <laughs> in a new interview, Disney CEO Bob Iger said the company is developing a third Frozen movie and added there might be a Frozen 4 in the works, too. Kind of surprising for a franchise whose signature song is Let It Go. <laughs> A production company in London announced this week a musical based on actress Gwyneth Paltrow's skiing collision trial will open next month. We should go, said someone halfway through the first act. <laughs> it was announced yesterday that the Beast's library attraction at Disneyland will permanently close next month. Wow, closing a Disney attraction and a library. That's like Ron DeSantis' best day. <laughs> And finally, CBS This Week announced that it's canceling its show, Young Sheldon. Man, and just after Fox canceled Old Sheldon. <laughs> and that was a monologue, everybody. We're up and running.